What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got one hell of a hidden gem on the Xbox 360 and that's KOF Sky Stage. Yeah, KOF, the King of Fighters. A King of Fighters shooter on the Xbox 360. Uh, yeah, a King of Fighters shoot 'em up on the Xbox 360. KOF Sky Stage, I mean, my God. When I found out about this the other day, guys, it blew my mind. Now, this game has a striking resemblance to another game that came out on the PSP. You guys might know it. It's a Neo Geo Heroes Ultimate Shooting. Don't have a physical copy of that game, but I do have it downloaded on a hacked PSP. And, you know, love it. think it's a great shooter. But I do think this shooter is a little bit better. So if you like Neo Geo Heroes Ultimate Shooting, you best to download KOF Sky Stage and play it on your Xbox 360 now. This game did have a release, apparently, from what I, the research I did online. I had a release in arcades in Japan, I'm assuming. I don't know about here. Xbox 360 on the Xbox Live. And it said it had a PSP release. Now, I didn't find much information on that. But again, it's got a striking resemblance to Neo Geo Heroes Ultimate Shooting. So I can believe it, especially because the graphics are pretty much... It's pretty much the... I'm not going to say the same game, but it looks the same. You know, very similar graphics. This game could easily be played on a PSP. But I mean, I'm going to try to find a ROM for that and throw it on my PSP just to see if I can do it. But... You know, the best option, guys, is to download it on your Xbox 360, and it, it had no physical release. So the whole point of this video is to bring awareness to this game, as I think it's a great shooter. And if you guys watch my channel, you know, I'm a big shooter guy. You know, if it's a trash shooter, I'm not going to put it on. I'm not going to show it in a video. So I'm just saying, this is a good shooter. It sucks it never got a physical release. But if you want this game, you know, I suggest you download it. It's 10 bucks. Get it before it gets delisted, because, uh, you know, games get delisted all the time. And, you know, I don't know if SNK and Xbox are going to, you know, have any kind of falling outs or anything, but a game called Trouble, which has got delisted, now I'm very upset that I didn't have the opportunity to download that game because I didn't, you know, just didn't, wasn't into the Xbox 360 at the time. So, regret it now. Maybe I'll get a RGH and figure out a way to download it and play it on one of those consoles, and that'll probably be my next uh, thing. But, you know, I'm going to have a lot of fun with a lot of these Japanese games before I get into all that. But... So anyway, this game was developed, obviously, by SNK Playmore, and it was published by a company called Moss. And if you guys know Moss, I think they did uh, Raiden 3, Raiden 4. I do believe they did Caladrius Blaze. And they did, like, a lot of games for the Taito Type-X arcade board. At least that's what it says online. It's looking like this game had a 2010 release. Uh, KOF Sky Stage came out in arcades January 22nd of 2010 and September the 15th that same year for the Xbox 360. Now, as far as the PSP goes... I have no idea. I'm going off of very limited information. If you guys have played a KOF Sky Stage on the PSP or have any information on it, let me know in the comments, especially if you have a link to like a ROM. I would definitely appreciate that. You know, leave it in the comments down below. So how does KOF Sky Stage play? Because I mean, ultimately, that's the main thing we want to get to here. The game plays great. Since I've had this Japanese Xbox 360, it's just been a few days, but I have downloaded a ton of shooters. And of the ones I downloaded, this one is at the top of the list. Uh, there's some cave stuff out there. We'll get into all that stuff later in another video. But uh, the gameplay is good. The enemy bullet patterns are fun to navigate through the bullets. You have different shot types for your different characters. And there's six playable characters here, including the famous Terry Bogard. I mean, that's really the only person in this game where I actually know who it is. But the levels they vary you know one's a rural kind of level one's an urban kind of level so they don't offer a ton of variety but that's not what you're going for here in background environments you're going for solid gameplay and the gameplay is solid now every character has i think two or three screen clearing bombs or what's the equivalent to a screen clearing bomb in this game you know per life and then you have I don't want to say it's a melee attack, but it's a charged attack where you have to wait for a meter to fill and then you can unleash a charged attack. And it's different for each character. And depending on how long you hold that charged attack button in, it's going to be how pretty much how powerful your shot is. And, you know, that, that pretty much gives you an infinite amount of screen clearing bombs in a sense. And it's also equivalent to a melee attack in a shooter. But there are some shooters where you actually have weapons like, you know, Astabreed and I think Chaos Field's another one that actually uses a melee attack. Um, but yeah, great game, guys. I dig the mechanics in this game. Uh, I can't believe that I'm just now finding out about KOF Sky Stage, but, you know, I'm just now getting into all the 360 stuff that I never played before. Guys, if you've never played this game, it's 10 bucks. You know, I wouldn't suggest adding your PayPal or credit card to an Xbox account, but I just went to the store and grabbed a couple Xbox cards. Grab a card at your local 7-Eleven or next time you go out for groceries, guys, 
Download this thing on your Xbox, you won't regret it. Now, one thing that I think gives this game a ton of character, when you're done fighting your boss, you know, you're done, you beat the boss up, you see in big letters up in the middle of the screen, KO, just like you'd see in a fighting game, and then when you fly into your next level, you see in big letters and numbers the level that you're on, so that kind of gives you the vibe that you're playing like a mid-90s, like, import Sega Saturn fighter or something like that. I just think it gives the game a ton of character. Anyways, guys, I know I haven't been on YouTube in a couple of weeks other than live streams, but, you know, it's what's going on in the world today in my job. Work has just been beating me down, and I'm trying to beat Yeez 8, so a lot of time is spent on Yeez 8 when I'm not at work. Um, I did get a Japanese 360, and there's some cool games that I ordered, so I will be showing those to you guys here within the next couple of weeks, I'm sure. But uh, there's a ton of great games on the 360 that you can download on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade, I think it's called. Um, and KOF Sky Stage was at the top of the list. Just wanted to share it with you guys. Anyways, till next time, guys. Peace out.